Uh, Leica is set to blur the lines between professional cameras and smartphones. Mo might like this one. There was this kind of concept device going around that had all the elements of a smartphone and quick sharing and social media functionality. But it also had an interchangeable lens system capable of receiving like the lenses. Well, everyone looked at it and they're like, whoa, y'all are crazy. That was the social media response. But then they come back and say, yeah, we might actually do something mm. for real. Now, they partnered up on the previous generation. I guess it was called like the 12S. And that was a lot more like I think if you scroll down, you can see an image of it right there. Yeah, that was it. And uh, it was a, that was also a concept phone. Oh, no, the 12S Ultra Concept uh, was the one that could use the interchangeable Leica M series lenses, but it never came to fruition in terms of a, a real phone, did it? It was it looks it, official, but it was just a concept phone. I know, I know, it looks like a real thing, but I don't think they sold it. No, eh? I don't know. Maybe they did. If they did, we should have gotten one, and that's our fault. But I don't, I don't think that they. Isn't this it? The 12s Ultra Review. Wait, you can't put an actual lens on that one, can you? No. It's got a big sensor and a light. It does have a like a partnership, but I don't believe this was the one with the interchangeable lenses. It doesn't look like a mountain system yeah. is in place here. Yeah, what are you going to do? Stick it on with the 3M strips? Yeah, super glue. Anyway, they've worked together. That's the idea. And apparently this new report states that they're, uh, they could enhance that relationship. Multiple Indian news outlets have reported that the anticipated Xiaomi 13 Pro featuring Leica lenses will be launching this month in India as early as February 26th. Not much is known yet about the upcoming flagship, but the 12S Ultra was equipped with the one-inch sensor, much larger than those found in smartphones. That's the type of sensor you see in the most high-end point-and-shoot cameras. Mm. Combined with the new engineering developments will likely be key to achieving superior image quality in the 13 Pro. So... Maybe we're not seeing the full M system. Actually, go to the final uh, paragraph. Oh, yeah, never mind. I don't think we're seeing an M system smartphone at the moment, but hopefully if these two brands continue to work uh, together, things might get crazy. Who knows? I just remembered a quick update. Yesterday, we covered that Caspian Sea Monster mm -hmm. plane ship looking thing, if you recall. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, that thing doesn't, it, it kind of flies, but not really. It hovers. It kind of, it's more of a hover, to be clear. Because the way we were talking about it, we're like, well, it can take off from water. <laughs> no, space. it's mostly, it's just a wild, plain looking water bound vehicle that sort of is just above the surface. I, we have Mo's attention. Like, how crazy is this thing? This doesn't even, that looks like sci fi, right? It doesn't even look like a real thing that exists. That's insane. Yeah. So, anyway, that was just a quick update on that. I got, you know, you got to clear it up when you miss. Sure. speak yeah, on something because yeah. we were like yeah how does it you're like how does it get enough speed and whatever and i'm like well it's up in the air and just you and i just just, just flapping our we were, yeah. we were flapping our I wings i was trying to fly we were flapping our wings and uh it doesn't make it any less cool so why does it just hover why can't it fly well it's meant for like coastal situations transport oh okay what's that it looks huge too, big, too big yeah. to fly. Well, that's what I would think. Yeah, I mean, it's to move really quickly uh, across. That's why they say Caspian Sea is Whoa, what. Were those what, missile launchers? Yes. It patrols, dude. You dude, kidding? It's knocking things, things out of the sky. But cool. well, why does it look beached like it's stuck there? Or something? Well, they just recovered it. This thing hasn't been used since, uh, the, you know, the Cold War era, whatever it was. Oh, damn. Yeah, yeah it's big. So. So cool. Decommissioned, you know? Mm. But maybe making it's a come, cool they kind of want to make a comeback for passenger vehicles. When you're in coastal, you want to go from coastal city to coastal city. You're just cruising just above the water. Mm. And it would look like that? Smaller. Okay. You but going, still with the missile. You going for a ride? <laughs> yeah, I'd do that. Mo's so going cool. for a ride. That's what our friends always say at the straight pipes, right? They go, we're going for a ride. Yeah. Am I right? Jacob about that? and Yuri. Yeah, they were going for a ride. And I say, let's do it, boy. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you like that one, Bo? <laughs> like, I like how you're in their videos all of a sudden. <laughs> I'm in there. Let's do it, boy. <laughs> I'm in there. I just poke my head up in the back. Let's do it, boy. Just cut to Lou. <laughs>